Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take another look at solving equations using fraction busters. I know that you might not be alone out there in thinking that fractions make equations so complicated, but know that there is a method to make those fractions disappear, and it's fraction busters. So we're gonna jump right into an example problem here where we see it kind of looks like we got a complicated equation, but I think we can use fraction busters to make it much simpler. We have the equation x plus 3 over x plus 2 equals x plus 5 over x. And I gotta say, this example here does not look anything like my previous videos on fraction busters. Notice that while we might have the same denominator in both of our fractions, they're both x, they are not a number. Those are not a single constant term. That is a variable, and we haven't seen an example before where there's a variable in the denominator position. But the good news is, is that fraction buster still works here. We still are just going to think of a term where we can multiply each term by to get rid of those fractions, to bust it up. But now this time, we have a variable. And notice that the variable is the same for both fractions there. And that fra variable is x. It's in the denominator position. We're trying to get rid of x. So I think the best way for us to do that then, since they both match, is to multiply each term by x. Now that's something we haven't done before. We've always multiplied by a number. But we can multiply by x because as I start to work through this equation now, you'll notice that the fractions will get busted up and we'll be left with a simpler equation. Let's start with the first term. x goes into x one time. The x's cancel. So I'm left with just x plus 3 times 1, which really is just x plus 3. Look how that first term here, this messy fraction with an x on the top and x on the bottom, ends up being simplified to just x plus 3 by multiplying it by x, the variable. Let's keep moving on. Oh, this is not a fraction, so we just got to multiply it. 2 times x, that makes 2x equals, again, look what we have, x in our denominator being multiplied by x, well, x goes into x one time. Again, I'm just left with the numerator, x plus 5. Again, take a moment to appreciate fraction busters. We started with that messy equation there, but just by multiplying every single term by x left us with a much simpler equation. An equation that I think we can now use to solve for x. So let's go ahead and work through this. Uh, on the left-hand side, I think I wanna combine some like terms. I see that I have x plus 2x. That will combine into 3x's. Still have the plus 3. It still equals x plus 5. Alrighty, let's see. I think I wanna move that 3 over to the left-hand side. So I'm gonna subtract 3 on both sides. I'm left with just 3x equals x 5 minus 3, that makes 2, a positive 2. Now I'm trying to get x by itself. I think I need to move this other x over to the left-hand side. So I think I will subtract x, subtract x, right? Just solving this equation to get x on its own. Well, 3x's take away an x, leaves us with just 2x's on the left-hand side, and it equals 2. We are almost there. The very last step we have to do is to divide by the coefficient of 2. If we do that, we'll see that x ends up equaling 2 divided by 2, which is just 1. So look at that. Notice that fraction busting didn't even take up majority of the time here. It's a quick little method we can use at the start of the problem to end up with a much simpler equation so that we can just do some simple linear calculations. Combining like terms, moving the constant, moving the variable,
dividing by the coefficient, this part here should be second nature to us at this point. Up here, not so much, but hopefully with more practice, you'll feel a little more confident with fraction busters and you won't be so afraid of equations that have fractions because we can always bust them up by multiplying by the least common multiple. It's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.